20 Secrets You Missed in Fortnite Season 2. So last week we all witnessed the horror of this loading screen, and while we all rightfully came to the conclusion that Colombo may just be gone forever, a huge discovery has been made. If you had to command cavern on the map, inside you'll come across this vault, and it sounds like something might just be inside. Does this mean Clavo is alive and the I.O. are keeping him in prison? So I know what you're thinking, we gotta break him out. So how can we do it? Well, using a glitch, you could actually get inside of this vault. And if you look around, nothing's in here. Now I am sure this is just an easy fix for Epic, and in a few weeks, we'll be setting up the perfect heist to free Clavo. So subscribe to help us steal Clavo back. But if we're gonna break him out, we gotta learn more about the Imagined Order. And that brings us to one of the greatest secrets of season two. The IO Patrol from Season 1 is back, driving around on the east side of the island, but no one has noticed a hilarious detail about him. After they run low on gas, they'll now make stops at gas stations where they'll awkwardly walk inside to pick up snacks before hitting the road again. What kind of attention to detail is this? Now, if we're gonna stand a chance against the Imagined Order, you'll need to get familiar with the new Siege Cannons, and there's a secret that can make these devastating. Now, it's common knowledge at this point, you can find them all over IO bases and can shoot a cannonball or even yourself. But did you know you can now place your map marker and it will shoot Show on the cannons display. Yes, this will allow you to directly hit your targets or land in the exact place. I mean, seriously, it's almost pinpoint accuracy. But if you want an insta kill, one of the rarest items in Fortnite history is returning this season. People who analyze the challenges for season two realize that there are references to the mythic goldfish, which hasn't been seen in Fortnite since chapter three began. And something that's also coming back for the first time in three years is the airstrike. These were also spotted in the challenges, which could be huge. I mean, it'll seriously shake up the way we play Fortnite for a while. And speaking of getting the drop on your enemies, with this pay to win skin, you get sneak up on them silently. That's right, if you use the new Orisa skin from the Battle Pass along with her pickaxes, for some reason, when you have them equipped, your footsteps will be completely removed. So if you have this skin, be sure to do it before Epic fixes it. Another fix that every fan is looking forward to is coming to Reboot Vans. I'm not joking, a new deployable Reboot Van is coming to the game, and according to leaks, you'll be able to throw it down wherever you are to reboot your teammates. This will be super useful for when you're far from a van or caught in a tough situation. And with all these new changes, it was so easy to miss the secret details that Epic is hidden in Season 2. When it comes to Kiara KO, she has a pretty consistent story. The IO logo is on her belt. She's got this same necklace as Sloane, and Fortnite literally calls her the leader of Tango Squadron. So explain this. I mean, I got no idea. I think Epic made a mistake on this one, unless she's some sort of like double agent, which make things even more confusing, especially because it looks like the IO has even more planned. Jetpacks are coming back as seen in the trailer and are gonna let you aim while in midair. You also hover at the same height, just like Mando's jetpack used to do, so you don't gotta worry about fall damage. These jetpacks will be found in the IO blimps, making these an even more valuable drop spot. Another helpful secret is that the cooler boxes around the island will now drop fish when open. Previously, these were the home to the guzzle juice and chug splashes, but with the guzzle juice vaulted, it has made some space for some extra fish. So if you're wondering why a lot of enemies have been dropping floppers this season, well, you might have just found your answer. And even with all the mobility added this season, there's a secret way to fly much higher. If you jump into a siege cannon and shoot yourself directly onto a launch pad, this happens. Talk about a good tip when you need to go that extra mile, literally. There's also a new group known as the Foodie Battalion that is here to help the resistance. There's always been various restaurants around the island, and now that the IO has invaded, the mascots have been forced into hiding. NPCs like Lil Whip, Guaco, and more hidden away in secret rooms near their restaurants and are communicating with the Seven throughout the war. But if you're moving around quickly, you might not have noticed incredibly small hints to a WandaVision collab. When you go to the NPCs around the island, they talk and sell items, and as you know, sometimes they'll have unique dialogue. Well, if you put on the Doctor Strange skin and talk to Metal Team Leader, she'll ask you about your synthesoid friend, which is obviously a reference to Vision from Marvel. As we know, the Doctor Strange movie is coming up, and with him in the Battle Pass, we could probably expect to see both Wanda and Vision coming to the game soon. And just like last season, there's even more changes coming to the map mid-season. The Resistance will soon start to recover their territory on the island and push back the IO. We'll be fighting them in three stages to reclaim five POIs before eventually blowing up three of the IO's blips. Yeah, we're only a week into the season and we are already getting new updates. But one of the biggest changes with Season 2 has been no building, and players are loving it. And well, it looks like Epic is listening because there's now a zero build mode with less damage to the environment, and the best part is, it is permanent. Sloan's plans have failed, and we even got a free 
reloading screen to remember it. And this week's content update has been huge. We also got a brand new rocket launcher for the first time in years. To celebrate the guided missile launcher's fourth birthday, say hello to the Anvil, an anti-vehicle weapon that locks onto cars and tanks. And soon we'll also be able to fight back with the MK7 as early as this week. Yes, the MK and the Combat AR are having their own free trial for the weekend before we have to vote on which one gets vaulted. So enjoy your time with them. One of them may never return again. And that's not even the most ridiculous thing in season two, because on the new cover of Fortnite Zero War, there's a really old Jonesy. No, but really, why is he so old? Are we gonna find out this is like the original Jones or something? I mean, seriously, I'm putting up a conspiracy board right now. And for another secret, you may have been smashing across the map in the new armor battle bus, but have you noticed that once you turn on the radio, it immediately becomes a party bus? Yeah, when the music turns up, disco lights come on its side, and that's not the only secret with this new vehicle. When the bus is in full party mode, the horn will change from the bus horn into an air horn. And it turns out the armor battle bus isn't only hiding party secrets either. With six of the seven finally being revealed, we could actually see the seventh member in this loading screen. Driving the battle bus, you can see the second sister, and you could also notice her full suit behind the Imagine, which is insane. But moving to another vehicle secret, back in chapter two, season two, there is a secret buggy vehicle at the end of the trailer. And two years later, we still haven't seen it. And the same goes for the tow truck from the season six trailer. Well, it looks like we could be seeing both of them sometime in the future because the tow truck and a new muscle car were included in this season's trailer. And speaking of the trailer, Doctor Strange arrives to help the Resistance by creating a portal to the island. However, he's actually missing his sling ring. Now the sorcerers need these rings to open portals, which kind of makes you wonder, how is he even doing this? And that's not the only difference with Doctor Strange. If you look closely at the mandalas he uses, you might spot that those runes on the outside are from the cubes. After all, his power is drawn from the dark dimension, so maybe it is the cube's darkness. But in the trailer for the brand new zero build mode, look extremely closely and you'll spot some amazing secrets that reveal the future. For example, players run around with LMGs and heavy snipers, which are confirmed to be coming to the game in a few weeks. But sadly, the heavy sniper will be getting a nerf and does a lot less damage than before. Something even more exciting is that choppers will return with a brand new 7 theme. Soon we'll be able to add them through funding stations, but it will not be easy. Fortnite has made funding three times harder, so save up a lot of gold if you want to see these. There are some awesome collabs on the way too, from Moon Knight to Star Wars. The lightsabers have been updated in the files for Season 2. So while we didn't get the Star Wars weapons last May, the Obi-Wan show is coming this season. Many people are expecting to see an Obi-Wan skin, as well as the possibility of Darth Vader. And after years of waiting, we could finally see them. While we're talking about new collabs, did you know the new Segway emote is actually a crossover? Fortnite even made a separate tweet about them and tag them on Twitter. This has definitely got to be one of the strangest collabs we have ever had. And if you remember the season two patch notes, you might recall that Epic claimed to add exotics into creative and then never did. And well, luckily they are finally in creative and you can now enjoy things like the grappler bow, boom sniper, and a lot more. And while older items have been updated, the newer ones also have some secret uses. The new repair torch can be used to heal your vehicles in metal, but once it is empty, it seems pretty useless, unless you know about the refill feature at gas pumps. If you're carrying a repair torch and it's running low, make use of a gas station so you can keep your vehicles as good as new. But it's not a new season without crucial details hiding in plain sight. If you talk to members of the Seven around the map while wearing certain skins, they'll give you secrets. If you visit any of them as the Paradigm, you'll see a lot of them don't trust her except for the Scientist and the Imagine. This reveals the tension that's happening right now between the Seven. If you want to learn more about the Seven Civil War, don't miss our mind-blowing Season 2 storyline video later this week. And those are 20 things you never noticed in Fortnite Season 2. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's been Tommy and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.